CSEP is the Coventry Cultural Education Partnership. So it's all about making sure that young people are benefiting from what we know can be the very transformational potential of the education and cultural sector coming together to provide them with opportunities to thrive and flourish and also develop better opportunities for their futures. So the project with CCP was absolutely amazing. What we did was we took 90 children for three days at Sydney Stringer School. And we worked with six arts organisations across three different disciplines. So music, we had Coventry music and Motherland music. For dance, we had Ascension Dance and Highly Sprung. And then with filmmaking, we had Let's Animate and Ludic Rooms. And they all got to experience those different activities. The Give It A Go programme was open to any young person across the city, working with organisations who delivered taster workshops to over 100 young people and invited them to give it a go and find out what arts they really enjoyed, from music to animation to dance and theatre. So it's getting that choice and just giving the options out for young people because a lot of their lives are sort of dictated to by what they can get to or what they can see and what they've had a go with. And actually we need to just give more of an option and more of a vision for young people that actually anything can be for anyone. It's specifically designed to support young people from more disadvantaged areas in the city. So it was really, really exciting and important for the Cultural Education Partnership to kind of bring together cultural organisations to create an offer for those young people to kind of be supported through those times and also to do some really excellent and exciting art. So with myself, on the first day they tried out the animation process, so using stop motion animation, and then on the second day they developed a film and a story, and then they made all their props and backgrounds, and then they did this in smaller groups, and then on the final day we added sound and edited it, and this was all done on the iPad and everything was done by them, and then they presented their films and we projected them on a big massive screen. Well the CSEP exists in order to try and create better opportunities for young people to express themselves, to, for their attainment, for their chances further off in life. I mean, that's our, that's our mission. And our vision to do that is by bringing organisations working together. CSEP is important and it's important that it's funded so that children and families can have the opportunities in Coventry that perhaps they wouldn't get otherwise. I think it's definitely a project that should be sustained and, and happen again in the future. The amount of children that benefited from it was just fantastic. They all went away with a positive attitude and a lot of them wanted to go away and learn more as well. We want people to see it as a body of people, of organisations that can be turned to for trustworthy advice and opportunities. And it's not just about the SEP putting on programme after programme to achieve their own ambitions. It's about enabling other people and empowering them to achieve their ambitions too. I think the importance of the cultural education partnership is that it allows those two sectors to come together, both education and culture, to really place a focus on what the needs are of the young people in Coventry. I mean, one of the things that we have in Coventry, we're very lucky, is we have a model called Cultural Champions. But the Cultural Champions is a role that is meant to do exactly what it says on the tin, to champion the cultural offer of the city within the schools, directly with the teachers and with the pupils that go there. They help us to get the message out to share with their colleagues in schools or wherever they work about opportunities, like funded opportunities or opportunities for working together. But we can also seek advice from them and we do that through the annual conference that we hold and we also deliver ongoing events throughout the year to stay engaged with them too. We piloted some really important projects in the city working with outside organisations so we worked with the Royal Opera House to pilot a programme called Create Dance in Coventry which Coventry had never taken part in before. And the idea was that they'd learn using digital resources and some hands-on CPD with the Royal Opera House team. One child actually cried when she found out she was going to be going on this visit to, to London to the Royal Opera House and when we got there the children's reaction I guess just driving into London was amazing for some of them but then going into the Royal Opera House going into a really prestigious arts venue and the children looked up at the ceiling in the first place and they asked is it solid gold? And then they, they looked down, we were up in the gods and the children looked down to the stage and they saw the Royal Opera House dance and they said are these people, are they real? Is this really real? Are we, are we really here? And for them, it's given them 
memories, really, I think, that will last a lifetime. I mean, anybody who works with young people, especially in the creative industries or in the arts, I think they're your biggest memories. The biggest memories you have is when you've put something on, you've organised something, young people access it, and then you get, you either watch them having a great time, or you watch them struggling with something, and you see how they, how they build their confidence and how they get over the, over the problem they are, or that they learn a new skill, or they get to express themselves in a way that they haven't before. So I think they're always the best memories, is the memories when you see young people actually doing something. So the Take Two project is um, part of the Arts Council collection moving to Coventry, and we were selected to have two of the paintings in our school for a couple of years so that the children can respond to the artwork in different ways. We installed artworks into six schools, so six schools have got world-class artworks hanging on their walls. And the idea is that they put the two pieces up in the schools and they've got them for two years and then they can use them as a, a stimulus for learning not just about the art that they've got and how that was created but how art can be used across the whole of the curriculum. It's a really great opportunity for the schools to get face to face with real artworks of significance and um, so that all pupils across those schools are exposed to them. Our future focus at the moment is on the development of what we're calling our Green Futures strategy and we will be starting to think about and consulting on what the activity to deliver that strategy might look like. The reason we've done that is because Green Futures is very much a key part of strategies, lots of other organisations, the City of Culture Legacy, the City Council, the Arts Council. Everybody's trying to seek ways of making sure that cultural activity is more sustainable and that it helps young people have a better lives, makes them healthier and makes them happier. We wanted to take that a little bit further and think about what Green Futures means to our young people. And I think we really liked the analogy of young people being green shoots and that we want to give them the right environment in which to grow. So that takes into thinking about making sure that young people feel they have access to the careers that can really support them in their futures, making sure that the actual physical environments in which they're learning and playing and exploring are safe and exciting for them and also making sure that we're considering their mental health and well-being as well so that they feel fully supported to be the best they can be.